Hello, this is Meme Analysis, and today we're going to be talking about I'm the Biggest Bird, a meme that's been around for a bit and focuses on a song. Now, you might be wondering, why are you covering this meme? It's not that meaningful, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to tell you, number one, it is, but number two, more importantly, and it, in fact, the subject of this analysis, I was challenged. I was challenged to a, a meme analysis fight with my good friend Magic Portal Man on Twitter just, uh, just a few minutes ago. And we're going to get into the very root of this meme, because on its surface it is, of course, very, very silly. It's a song that goes, I'm the biggest bird, I'm the biggest bird, again and again and again. Now, many of the memes depict big birds, of course, um, but this is not really the important thing. The important thing is, what does that phrase mean? And to get into it, we need to return to our most ancient self, to the most ancient human that there was. And so we return to a totemic society. We return to the world of totem poles, where families, and specifically patriarchs, carry the mantle of an animal, of a spirit animal, one that is often a, a bird, or a bear, or a wolf, or whatever. But in this case, of course, we're talking about an ancient totemic patriarch who is a bird. And he's at the top of the totem pole. He is the biggest bird. And in totemic cultures, essentially they are structured in a patriarchal way, which is to say that the patriarch um, has control over the women in the bird totem. His sons, his cousins, his male cousins, they are all essentially put into another totem. They are not birds, and thus they are deprived of mates. This might all seem really far out. Um, this is the subject of Freud's work Totem and Taboo, which is what he views really as the uh, initial form of human civilization and of Oedipal culture. This is really the cultural origin of the Oedipus complex and the ultimate expression of it where sons, deprived of mates, would grow angrier and angrier. And they would challenge the patriarch. They would challenge the biggest bird. They would say, I am the biggest bird. And they would all come to fight the patriarch. And again and again, day by day, the patriarch would have to assert and kill his sons and say, I, I am the biggest bird. Which is to say, I am meme analysis. I am the best meme analyst, you know. I wrote this analysis in a minute. Um, that doesn't mean it's not as high quality and meaningful. Many of the videos have been this way, but I don't care about this kind of, you know, Oedipal totemic power assertion, but it's funny that it relates to the subject of the video. So what seems very silly, this assertion that I am the biggest bird, in the past was the key to the maintenance of power of culture and of survival. And on the very first day that this patriarch is not the biggest bird, he is murdered by his sons. They all come and they kill him and they take their brides. And this has been the structure of civilization for a very long time. It has become more civilized. We've, we've gotten farther from that very root basis of totem culture, but we still, we say, I am an American, or I'm a Brit, or whatever. You, you say, I am of my culture, or you say you're of your race, or you say you're of your family, whatever. These are totems. And in many ways, they exist to maintain capital. You know, there's businesses, there's money to be made in all of those things. The Mafia is a great look at this. The Mafia says, family is number one, my nation is number one, my religion is number one. Everybody else can go fuck themselves. I and mine matter. And the second that you have been cast out, you will be killed. You are nothing. Um, this is a very honest culture. This is the honesty of mankind, oftentimes. The heat has just gone on. It's a bit, it's a bit chilly out. 
But we must assert that we are human animals, we are beasts, and thus we must embrace our nature. We must recognize our nature and not cast it off in shame, not deny it, because in that way it will come to haunt us and we will ultimately not be the biggest bird. Mankind itself could lose its relevancy. We could all lose our place on the totem pole in the universe. This is, it's a, it's a masculine insecurity. It's a, it's a solely masculine insecurity as to one's place on the totem pole, as to whether one is in fact the biggest bird or not. So this song, while it seems very silly, while this meme seems ridiculous, this assertion that one is the biggest bird, I think I have shown rather clearly that the biggest bird was for a very long time, for perhaps one of the longest times in human culture, a question of life or death and a question of power and reproduction and the survival of the human race. I'm the biggest bird. Memes matter. Let's see you beat that, Sam. <laughs>